Hello, today we are going to install Flash Player, Adobe Flash Player using Wine on Linux and then run Adobe Flash Player applications and games. So what is the Flash Player? Adobe Flash Player, the former Macromedia Flash Player. It used to be a web browser plugin. And latest uh, release from April 13, 2021 for China. 2021 for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Herman Enterprise variant. Okay. May 14, 2020. So the web browser plugin may or may not still work. That's why we are using a um, standalone flash player that's uh, built for Windows and we're going to run it with uh, Wine because we're on Linux Kubuntu 22.04. Okay, so for that we go to archive flash player and alone this thing let's download it Windows executable Okay, save. Now let's install uh, Wine. Okay, so let's install uh, Wine, but we want the 32 bit version of Wine because this is Flash Player 32 bit. So if we try to install it uh, from the Ubuntu repositories I didn't find any way to install the 32-bit uh, one just the 64-bit wine so not install in wine so it shows zero 32-bit uh, libraries, so just 64-bit libraries, and then it says recommended package is Wine32, and says that it's going to install Wine64. Okay, so not this way. Let's go with the official wine. So the Wikipedia page for the wine, uh, not an emulator. Website winehq.org. How do I install this thing? binary packages for Ubuntu. Okay, so let's follow this uh, wiki page. So wiki.winehq.org slash Ubuntu. Okay, I'm middle clicking on my mouse to paste and now I need to select uh, so I'm on Ubuntu 22.04 so I need this line 
Okay, so I've just added a new digital signature. I've added a new repository for uh, the packages. I get the metadata from the new repository, the list of available packages and their dependencies. And uh, I try to install the stable wine branch. Doesn't work. There is no such thing as winehq minus stable. Development now. Staging, I'm guessing, is a bit stabler than development. So let's go with the staging. Okay, so this thing is available and it installs a ton of 32-bit uh, packages, 32-bit uh, libraries, which is what I expected while installing Wine. Okay. Okay, so it has downloaded the packages, it's extracting the packages, and then we'll need to clean up the wine prefix that might exist for my user. I want to start with a clean, clean, clean wine installation. So it's basically installing another operating system inside of my operating system one, which is 32-bit. While my operating system was 64-bit, now it's installing a parallel 32-bit one. Okay, so I've run the package add architecture i386 make dir slash etsy slash up slash killings wget download this file to slash etsy slash up slash killings slash winehq minus archive dot key and then I've added into slash etsy slash up slash sources dot list dot d a new file called winehq minus jammy dot sources. Okay. So let me remove my wine prefix. I'm going to need recursive. Okay. And now let's start the wine file manager, which is called wine file. Similar to the file manager in Windows 3. Okay, so this thing. It's documents. Okay, so this is wine, this is the wine file manager, so wine file, the name of the executable. Seems to work okay, no interesting errors in here. So let's double click on Flash Player. This is the Flash Player application, the standalone Flash Player. It seems to work okay. 
So now let's find uh, some uh, Flash applications to run. So we go with archive. King in C. So this is a flash application, a uh, multimedia seminar. Okay, down, downloading. Um, I know I can unzip it with uh, unzip. But I want to extract it in a subdirectory. How do I do this? dxdir. I see this DXD. Which is what? Extract files into XD. Okay. So unzip. Okay, minus D. Okay, like this. from a wine file it doesn't automatically refresh so f5 thinking is c um, does it have a web browser probably not so let's go with uh, the individual swf files so the files that have the extension swf have been automatic hello this is chuck allison welcome to think when i installed the flash player standalone that registered as the handler for swf files so just double clicking on swf files in Wine File Manager will automatically s uh, load the Adobe Flash Player standalone 32-bit and load that uh, SWF file inside. Okay, so let's mute this thing. So being a Flash application, you can uh, Resize the application. The media buttons look OK and work correctly. Can go next uh, page. Back. No, oh, back. Back is going to be manual. Okay. And in order to switch chapters, we'll close the Flash Player and navigate up. So we do that. Alt left. No, backspace, no. Chapter 2. Lecture SWF. Thinking and C. Chapter 2. Okay, so this is a um, zip file which contains a website that doesn't do almost anything. So lecture.html doesn't really do anything. It just loads lecture.swf. So in fact, this uh, multimedia seminar Thinking EC is in fact a Flash player application. So all of the chapters have a lecture.swf file. 
all of the solutions, solution chapters have a lecture SWF. Here is a solution for the sound works okay, uh, layout, rendering, everything works okay. There's even this famous right click context menu with these settings. Close. Adobe Flash Player 32. Okay. So this is a how you run a SWF application. Flash player application. Now let's find some games and see if um, they run correctly. Um, errors, why errors? Nothing interesting. It, it still seems to be stable. So sometimes wine applications um, start to behave strangely like they hog all of the CPU or when uh, wine doesn't uh, implement everything that's needed for that application perfectly, <laughs> then uh, an error might uh, occur that might go unnoticed and trigger a an infinite loop or a memory, an infinite memory leak or something. So you need to kill all minus nine wine. But this doesn't seem to be the case. Okay. Let's now find a game and download it. So we have archive flash game because we want to use something from the archive.org website. Okay, and that's 2000 Flash games in here. Snowman game, what is the snowman game? Do I know how to play the 10 snowman game room? Tic Tac Clone. Shockwave Flash. So this is the file with extension SWF. 10 snowman game room dot SWF. I download this file to the today's directory. In one file. So it finished downloading in one file. The refresh. And because it's a file with SWF extension. We see it shows the Flash Player icon, so Flash Player standalone 32 bit is associated with files with the extension SWF. Just double click on it. And let's not get beaten by a computer. Oh no. The AI beat me. Okay, so this was it. There's, um, since Flash is no longer a widely available technology, on archive.org there's a ton of uh, copyrighted software and uh, so Flash applications, Flash demos, Flash games, Flash things. So most of these are uh, extremely amateurish and not that useful, but there might be some some things in here that are Let's see what this does. Maybe some some of these games are what you have been missing.
Okay, so a underscore blast dot SWF. Save. F5. Do we make it shut up? Okay, so this is the about wine, about wine, file manager, dialog, message box. Thank you.